Hey you, welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. I'm wife. And together we're reading the Bible. Starting with Genesis and eventually ending with Revelations, we're working through every book and offering our atheist two cents. Or shekels. Yeah, those. We're asking questions and pointing out all the nonsense. We aren't academics or scholars. Nope. In fact, when it comes to religion, we really don't know anything at all. What we've learned so far is that God's a dick. Oh, he really is, isn't he? If you're interested in how we reached this startling conclusion, maybe start from episode one. Otherwise, jump in anywhere. It's all good. Yep. Hey, wife, we just got a new sponsor. It's Anchor. They must think we're doing something right because they picked us back up. That's amazing. Want to hear something even more amazing? Uh, yeah. I actually know what they are. You are full of shit. I'm calling your bluff. Tell me about Anchor. Okay, so Anchor by Spotify is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. I'm actually surprised you knew that. But did you also know that Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer? Yes, because I see you do that on your phone all the time and it looks pretty simple. It really is. And when hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify and Apple Podcasts. But I use CastBox. Yeah, darling. I know you like CastBox. It gets distributed there too and lots of other platforms as well. And how much are we paying for this awesome service? Absolutely nothing. Coolio. So then we should tell people to download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started? Yep. Do it now. Husband. Wife. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Are you ready to do this? I am ready to do this. Do you remember what happened yesterday? I, um, I don't. You are not ready to do this. (laughs) I'm ready to talk shit about God. But that's not the same thing as, are you ready to do this? I'm I'm not ready to do this. Sorry. I'm going to tell I you what happened. Just yes. then. You did. You lied. You're yeah. a liar. <laughs> you are not. I a, probably should be stoned to death. You're not a pleasing sight to the Lord. I could tell you that. Oh, that's cruel. <laughs> Jeez. Crueler than saying you need to be stoned? No, I'd rather be stoned than, you know, the other. And we're talking rocks thrown at you, not like high yeah. stone. Look at a trash can lid. Oh, my God. <laughs> so what happened yesterday yeah. was um, Deuteronomy chapter 18, and we talked about what the Levites get, which, you know, they're grifters, so everything. Sure. And then we talked about heathen practices. Oh, it wasn't as exciting as I had hoped it would be. I mean, it was magic. Yeah, but I mean, I was like thinking more like they're going to talk about what you should do. If some, I mean, I guess you're supposed to kill heathens, so, you know, whatever. That that was Kill covered. the wabbit. Kill the <laughs> wabbit. Yeah. So somebody would probably be perfectly within their godly rights to come over here and stone us to death. Probably, but you know? I dare them. Yeah, I know, right? No, really, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. We're not really daring you. No, I mean, whatever. Yeah. You do you. Right. And then also um, there's going to be a prophet like Moses and whatever. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, cool. Okay. So then we're getting into uh, Deuteronomy chapter 19 today, right? That is correct. All right, let's go jump on in. Let's jump. Okay. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 19. Yep, that's the one. The cities of refuge. More recap. Yep. Okay, let's learn about these cities of refuge. I just want to interrupt here, though, and I want to say, really, if I was going to tell somebody, yeah, you should totally read the Bible, it's awesome, (laughs) Um, which I wouldn't. Right, yeah. I think what I would do is say, you could probably just read um, Genesis and then skip the next several books and jump straight to Deuteronomy right. for the recap. Yeah. Of Or if you really feel the need to read the whole thing, you could just listen to our podcast. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Right. But now we know. Yeah. And, and knowing to have the battle. Go, Joe? <laughs> okay. When the Lord your God destroys the nations whose land he is giving you, he will take over their land and settle in their towns and homes. Wait, God's going to settle Wait, in the Wait, no, I'm sorry. Homes? You will take over. Oh, I, was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Reading is God's fundamental. Moving, God's moving in next door, guys. <laughs> that, oh. would, that would be interesting. Would it? I mean, what do you what do you do for a welcome gift for God? <laughs> 
I don't know, but I would I would not want to be the neighbor. Would you move out? I well, that might be. I don't know. We do live across. I'd the probably street. just die because you know, like he'd kill me for something. We do live across the street from a church. Yeah, an empty one. Yeah, but still, this one is for sale. And then there was another one up the street for sale just recently that I saw that they had just built last year. I know you and said I was that like, already. What? Yeah. And I was so happy about that. Were you happy? Well, yeah, because I'm like, <laughs> look, our church is losing churches. Or no, our town is losing churches, not our church. Their church is losing churches. But I mean, too. really, I, I blame COVID. Yeah, no, it was definitely COVID. But like, I mean, it's still kind of cool. They did literally just build it. <laughs> they got all kinds of fancy Jesus signs and it looks fancy. Do you think anybody would notice if we like went up and stole the Jesus signs? Uh, yeah, somebody, they probably have fucking cameras on the, the property and all kinds of shit. Who Which, knows? I mean, it makes me wonder though, like, why do they care if it's for sale? Well, I don't know. Cause you know, you got to, part of the sell, sale is the big Jesus sign. I'm sure. You think? You got to sell it to another church. They're like, oh man, that one's got a big Jesus sign. <laughs> <laughs> Some people look for the amenities of like, I don't know, indoor plumbing, bathroom, sure. kitchen. Yeah, but no, big Jesus sign. Big Jesus sign. Yeah. Definitely a must. Oh yeah. Then you must set apart three cities of refuge in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Survey the territory and divide the land the Lord your God is giving you into three districts with one of these cities in each district. Do you remember what the cities of refuge are? They're the places where if you are – if you kill somebody basically and – But it was uh, like self-defense or right, something like that. Right, sure. It was self-defense and you don't want the family of the person you killed to kill you. You yeah. go there so you can await trial basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, that's kind of cool. It's like Guantanamo Bay minus the Guantanamo Bay part. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Then anyone who has killed someone can flee to one of the cities of refuge for safety. If someone kills another person unintentionally, oh, look, I didn't even have to ask you if you remembered. They're going to tell us. Right. Without previous hostility, the slayer may flee. (laughs) The slayer. (laughs) The slayer. The vampire slayer? Yeah, I don't know. May flee to any of these cities to live in safety. For example, suppose someone goes into the forest with a neighbor to cut wood, and suppose one of them swings an axe to chop down a tree, and the axe head flies off the handle, killing the other person. Or, like, let's say that you're, I don't know, a vice president or something, and you go out hunting, and you accidentally <laughs> shoot the president. Like, you right. know. No, it was someone who shot the vice president. Oh, uh, what? Does the story it was, matter? It wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. Who shot whom? I it forgot. was some like person shot the vice president, Dick Cheney. Oh, I thought Dick Cheney shot somebody. No. Oh, okay. Well, Dick Cheney got shot. Oh, that's in the funny. ass. <laughs> He's a dick. <laughs> in such cases, the slayer may flee to one of the cities of refuge to live in safety. But do you really think it was an accident? I mean, that's what we don't know, right? That's why they got to have a trial. Do you remember the movie Vice? It- no. Oh, my God. It was so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the one with Dick Cheney. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It made it look like it wasn't totally an accident. Well, yeah. But that was was a dramatization, too. Obviously. But it, you know, still begs the question, was it totally an accident? Right, right. I mean, it was a funny accident. I can tell you that much. Yeah. If the distance to the nearest city of refuge is too far, an enraged avenger might be able to chase down and kill the person who caused the death. (laughs) Then the slayer would die unfairly since he had never shown hostility toward the person who died. You know, I really find it cool that they are taking such measures to protect this accidental murderer. Right. Like, I didn't mean to murder. Like, murder implies malice. Like, sure. All I did was, you know, buy a bad axe. Yeah. Yeah. Not my fault. Right. I, I would sue the maker of the axe. Yeah, that might be a little hard back then. It would you'd be, I, who, who the fuck made the act? Well, I guess it would be like your neighbor. Yeah. Like, hey, Joe, I'm suing your ass because, you know, I killed my neighbor, other neighbor. Right. You know, Jeff died because you sold me a bad axe, so we're going to court, man. It just seems a little advanced to be worrying about such things, don't you think? I don't know. I mean, there's civilizations, so they had to come up with rules for this shit. Right, but it's an advanced compassion that I find unexpected. I I was not ex- – I remember commenting on this at the time that we read it that I was really surprised that they're taking such pains to protect these accidental well, deaths. Well, let me, let me ask this. 
So let me let me ask you, don't you think that there would be a law in place for something specifically like this? Let's just take an example. We're in the Bronze Age, right, with the, the Bible? Totally. Right. So the, let's say you've got a bronze smelter guy that's making um, bronze tools, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's got a, an apprentice there who's kind of like learning his way and everything. And then he's like sitting there hitting tools and one shoots off and kills this other guy, kid that's learning, right? Right. Well, Obviously, that guy that's really important in the neighborhood is not going to take blame for it. It was an accidental killing. Sure. So they need a rule in order to protect people like that. I know. I just I find it surprising. That's all. Oh. Okay. That it's. I it's, guess I don't find it surprising because money is always going to win out, and like if you have money to. Oh, you're saying it's less altruistic than what I'm granting here. At yeah, this I'm moment. saying it's to protect oh, okay. people of the community that the you know, high standing people. Sure. Oh, okay. If you're low standing, I'm they probably so, don't give a fuck. I'm so naive and. <laughs> Like, it didn't even occur to me that it was literally just another loophole to protect high-standing people. Well, I mean, I, that's the way I would see it. That's because you're evil and oh, I'm nice. Is? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That is why I'm commanding you to set aside three cities of refuge. And if the Lord your God enlarges your territory as he swore to your ancestors and gives you all the land he promised them, you must designate three additional cities of refuge. Okay. Okay? Yeah. He said it a couple times now. Do he that. Has, yeah. Three. Three. Fucking three, okay? Yep. He will give you this land if you are careful to obey all the commands I have given you. If you always love the Lord your God and walk in his ways, that way you will prevent the death of innocent people in the land the Lord your God is giving you as your special possession. But you can't walk like an Egyptian. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> How long were you sitting on that? I, for a while. You even, yeah, I was like, I was waiting for you to get to a stopping point. You weren't I was even like, I really listening. To say that. No, I, I wasn't. I saw your face, and you were like, I have a, th- I, I have, have a thing. Saying. I want to say. I have it. a I funny. Say it. I want to say it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you get this just focused look. Yeah. And I can tell you're just like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, and then you just keep reading because you're like, no, fuck you. Because I'm in the middle of a fucking sentence. We're reading the Bible over here. Is that what we're doing? That is what that is literally what we're doing. No, I know, but we're also commenting on it, and that's the fun shit. I know, but in the middle of a sentence. Oh, hell yeah, in the middle of a sentence. Oh, my God. You will not be held responsible for the death of innocent people. Wait, for the death of innocent people. Okay. But suppose someone is hostile toward a neighbor and deliberately ambushes and murders them and then flees to one of the cities of refuge. Yeah, that's bad. In that case, case. (laughs) the elders of the murderer's hometown must send agents to the city of refuge. Yeah, I'm going to send the FBI after that motherfucker. Right? To bring him back and hand him over to the dead person's avenger to be put to death. Oh. God damn. I want to be one of those agents. (laughs) Right? Hand over your people. (laughs) This guy killed maliciously. We're taking him back to be killed. I'm agent wife, and this is my partner, (laughs) agent husband, and we're here to collect. Bad guys. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Do not feel sorry for that murderer, exclamation point. Yeah, don't feel sorry for him. Exclamation point. Yeah. Purge from Israel the guilt of murdering innocent people. Then all will go well with you. Yeah. That clearly happened. Apparently. All went well. Yeah. When you arrive in the land... The Lord your God is giving you as your special possession. You must never steal anyone's land by moving the boundary markers your ancestors set up to mark their property. That's wait, the what? End. Wait, 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 wait. Don't be moving your boundary don't move markers. Don't boundary markers. Yeah, don't do it. <laughs> you can't steal land by moving your boundary marker. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's, Cause that just reminds me of like all the people like in small town that fight over where the fucking fence line is. I know. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> people trying to move those boundary, boundary markers, markers all the fucking time. Right. Okay. That was the end of that section. Right, sorry. That just came out of nowhere. Right. Like we're the talking about, markers, yeah, yeah, we're talking about murderers and accidental murderers yeah. and bad murderers and hostile murderers. And oh yeah, don't move your landmarkers. <laughs> don't move the land marker. Okay. Yeah. They're like, and don't chew popcorn loudly in a movie during the quiet part. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you – so that's part of my frustration with the Bible. Mm-hmm. There's so many things that we don't know the rules for per the Bible because they didn't fucking exist back then. Right. So like how are we supposed to apply Bible law to, you know, today when 90% of the stuff that we have today wasn't around right. in, back when they – created the bible right like it doesn't doesn't fit well what i think is that there ought to be a bible group 
with a tongue-in-cheek attitude who goes through this with a fine tooth and comb and pulls out all the rules. Yeah. Like, you guys are fighting over boundary mark. Like, this could be like a reality TV show. Think how popular it would be. Right. You know? Like, okay, you guys are fighting over um, boundary markers and moving your boundary markers. And so we were wondering, do either of you go to church? So we could call it like Judge Judas or something. Judge Judas. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Like, you know, hit me up. That's my idea. That's a good that's a good idea for a show, I think. I, I yeah, I think so too. Like Christian court, you know? Yeah. And they go and then there's judges who actually read the Bible, you know, and right. they're like, I'm yeah. sorry, but you moved your you boundary. Moved your boundary marker. So, you know, we can stone you <laughs> or you can get your shit together and back down. Right. Yeah. You know, whichever. It's up mm-hmm. to you. You get to choose. Yeah, this have to be done like somewhere not It'd have to be done on, like, an island or something. Yeah. Because if you actually had to stone somebody, I mean, you can't be, like, you know. Like I said, it would be a, a tongue-in-cheek. Okay, okay. But yeah. much like with a judge duty thing, you have to agree ahead of time to adhere to the decision. Right. And Maybe they can have, like, styrofoam stones. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, this is all coming together. I am loving this. And, like, you know, you have to be shunned. Yeah. You know, shun. Shun the non Shun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you moved your boundary marker. Right. Yeah. Ooh, you went and um, got a, a tarot card reading done last weekend. Mm. Shun. Yeah. Shun. Stone. <laughs> okay. The law concerning witnesses. Oh, I, I'm very interested in this. Okay. Let me tell you what. I ain't going to witness nothing. Right. I didn't see a thing. Right. right. Ever. Okay. 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 Because I know where this is going. Do you? Yeah. Okay. You got to go stand up and be the first one to stone somebody, and oh yeah, you know, that's right. You got to witness against them. Right. I'm not doing it. Right. I'm not that interested. Yeah. Not that involved. You must not convict anyone of a crime on the testimony of only one witness. Yeah. Not just fair one. enough. Fair enough. Got to be at least two. Right. Yeah. Two or three even. Yep. The facts of the case must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. See. Yep. If a malicious witness comes forward and accuses someone of a crime, then both the accuser and accused must appear before the Lord by coming to the priests and judges in office at that time. Okay. Okay? Yeah. You following me? I'm following you. Okay. Bring your witnesses. Bring your witnesses. Bring out your witnesses. (laughs) (laughs) The judges must investigate the case thoroughly. Again, using Facebook or whatever social media you are on some people use twitter more yeah. than facebook yeah. okay if the accuser has brought false charges against his fellow israelite you must impose on the accuser the sentence he intended for the other person damn oh burn you wanted him dead bitch you're dead that sucks yeah it kind of you better make sure you're accusing correctly and have like your good, shit straight good cause... solid witnesses and moreover make sure that not only like, not only should you have receipts, you better make sure that they didn't manufacture any. Right. Like, yeah. for real. Because just because you show up with all of the facts, all your ducks lined up in a row, all your witnesses, and yeah, you know you're right. If they for a better lawyer, then you're fucked. You're fucked. It doesn't yeah. fucking matter. Right. You know, the glove didn't fit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. exactly. In this way, you will purge such evil from among you. Uh, I crawl yeah, bullshit. Whatever. Then the rest of the people will hear about it and be afraid to do such an evil thing. I mean, or be afraid to accuse of somebody of doing yeah. such an evil thing. Yeah, that's... Because, I mean, you know, it just depends on who has the most money, I would imagine. Right, because in a... In a um, oh, wife has such a great, um, naive worldview. Like, yeah, that would be nice because then, yeah, you would be afraid to, you know, go say something because they might come back on you and you know whatever yeah you could end up dying for standing up for what's right yeah so fuck that that would happen to me every day (laughs) actually it only happened one day but (laughs) fuck off (laughs) you must show no pity for the guilty exclamation point yeah don't show any pity for no pity for the guilty you'll probably die for that yeah probably whatever your rule should be life for life eye for eye tooth for tooth hand for hand foot for foot the Mm. end that's so where they get that eye for an eye bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. No yeah. pity for the guilty. No pity. None. Zero. That is biblical. Yeah. And they are definitely always guilty if they get, you know, if they were proven guilty. Yeah. They're there's, always there's guilty. no question. No about question. It. Because the judges are always fair. Right. Yeah, totally. And we, can't we know be that from all the people that have gotten off of death row, 
by the skin of their teeth because you know they were wrong. Or, oh, were they? Oh shit! Or, judges were wrong. Or yeah, or the the DNA evidence. Right. You yeah. Know, that didn't exist in the time that they were jailed. Yeah. Or all the people who um, put their kid in the wrong school district because they wanted a better life for their children, and so then they're in jail for like twenty five years. Right. Don't have pity for them. Yeah. Those evildoers. Yeah, because you know all witnesses are altruistic and all yeah. judges are also altruistic. The, so. They are fair. Yeah. They are always fair judges. Yeah. The people who are in jail for life for smoking weed and now weed is legal. But that was totally fair. Totally fair. Absolutely fair. Yeah. No pity for people who smoked weed. Yeah, in no way whatsoever. Yeah. I, I don't, just so that we're clear, like, I'm being like not just yeah, sarcastic. High sarcasm. Yeah, I'm beyond being sarcastic. I'm actually being cynical and shitty. Right, yeah. Spell it right out. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Well, that was, is that it? That was Friday. That was it. The eye for eye, foot for a foot, you know. Mouth okay. for a mouth. Right. Eyeball for an eyeball. Yeah. Toe ear for, for an ear. A, toe for a toe. Yeah. What if I want to trade a finger for a toe? You think that would be acceptable? I think you're stupid. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow we're doing our Q&A. Yeah. I'm not really sure what we're covering yet. But, uh, didn't have a lot of questions. Didn't have a ton of questions. So We'll see what we can come up with. Definitely. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye. Hey, wife. Yes, husband. Did you know that we are now on Patreon? Um, yes, because you told me, but also, no, tell me more. <laughs> So we're on Patreon now. Are we? We are. And our supporters can go there and support us. And we have multiple levels all the way up to You Killed God. That sounds really drastic and escalated quickly-ish. Well, no, there's multiple levels before there. So it it escalates on a sliding scale of, you know, cheap to to not cheap. But, you know, we can definitely use any amount. So, like, any support is always appreciated. So what exactly is patreon it's a place where you can show your support for our podcast and just our podcast any podcast or any (laughs) performer but you know we're the ones that you know you're listening to right now so maybe you should uh you know support us that'd be awesome that would be awesome but we love you anyway so all you got to do is go to patreon look up sacrilegious discourse it's actually patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse is our actual main page there so head on over and send us some love yeah Husband, it's the end. It is indeed, wife. Tell the people where they can contact us. Well, they can get a hold of us via our email, which is uh, sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. We have Twitter at sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh, why do you know? Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Ugh. All right. We have a Facebook page, an Instagram page, and a Pinterest page. But if you really want to get our attention, Twitter is where, is it, where it's at. Twitter is where you're at. Yeah. And um, they should also review, like, and subscribe, yeah? Definitely. Apple Podcasts um, reviews help us out tremendously. And uh, we also can use your support on Patreon, which is a great place to uh, support us as well. That would be at patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye. Bye.